Hello. Welcome to another episode of Fix It Tony. Today's episode is to install a collapsible shelf that will be like a night table, a floating night table uh, shelf. Reason being is my son has a medium to small size bedroom and we have uh, not a lot of space um, for an official full-size night table. We want to maintain minimal sort of uh, look and feel. Uh, so uh, we have a um, closet over there that forces the bed over a certain amount. And uh, we want him to have something to put his book, reading light, and water bottle um, next to him overnight instead of on the floor. So I'm going to install a floating shelf um, right about here that also will fold down. And um, my thought was, you know, how high? And generally speaking, I want it to be a little higher than the mattress so that when you reach over, it's not sort of down low. We don't want it to be um, a shin buster either for the grown-ups. Uh, we also have to worry about where the studs are. I don't want to use um, anchors that require huge holes um, because if someone were to sit, sit on it or put pressure on it, I don't want it to break. You know, so I'm going to land on the studs and I'll show you how we're going to locate that and install it and we will uh, test it out. Okay. Welcome back to Fix It Tony. I am showing you kind of what I'm gonna need uh, or what I'm gonna be using. Um, I should probably put this in the picture. A pencil, a square, maybe a hand screwdriver and a cordless drill. So I think this is all that I'm gonna need for today's project. The shelving brackets that I have uh, is collapsible. So you can sort of see how this works. Um, this part here is against the wall and then you push this up and then you'll be able to lift up the shelf. There's a positive lock on the shelf, so it won't collapse on you. And then there's a lock on both sides. You just pinch and the shelf will then drop. So that's how that's gonna work. Now, um, my studs are 16 inches apart. I did, I'll have to say that I did cheat and uh, find those and know that it is 16 inches apart. Um, what I didn't have here is a tape measure. Let me go get one of those. So I had this piece of plywood, it's about one inch. And I cut it yesterday to 18 inches. And uh, the shelf was already 13 inches uh, wide. So when the bracket comes in, there's going to be about one inch of overlap so that that'll help conceal this edge. So knowing that I have a 18 inch wide piece of wood, I want my center holes to be at 16 inches apart. So I'm going to do 17, so one inch in here, one inch in here. And then when I put the tape measure on the pencil line, I have 16 inches. So we have 17. And we got one inch here. Square. There we 
we go. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. So now I have my line. So that's the center. Keep in mind. And the, cent the holes are on the center of the bracket as well. So I'll just be eyeballing. So let's see. So you can see the pencil line and I'm gonna be eyeballing the pencil line in the center of the hole, which is good enough. And I will take this square, which is really handy to have because I'm going to bring I'm going to imagine this plane being the wall okay and I want to make sure that I don't go either too much or too little so there's if you can see here There's a bump and a bump, so actually this point and this point will be touching the wall, not this. So I need to bring my square over to where I think it'll actually be touching. Okay. And then there's, there's basically it. Now, you can see here that it's touching here, but not here. But here, it, down at the bottom, it's even with the edge of the plywood. Um, so when this is actually attached with screws, it's gonna be governed by the point that's furthest out, which is this point. Um, there might be a little bit of slop, but I don't wanna go past the edge down in here. So I'm going to just keep it like, keep the square touching that. Okay. I think that's good. And then slide that over. center of the hole. Okay. Now, the screws that came with this package, the, um, with the brackets, are these little tiny ones. Um, not really holding much. Um, I do want to make this more secure, so I'm going to use these pan head screws. Bigger head, flatter, um, Little more aggressive teeth. It's got a really sharp point. Keep in mind that plywood, especially like this, that's multiple layers, is going to be very hard uh, to start. So if you don't have a pilot drill, um, a pointy screw like this should be enough. I'm going to put one in the middle first. not tightening it all the way down because if I did the bracket might shift or turn I don't want it to just dis to distort I want to be able to get all of my screws in first and then I'll t come back and tighten them and as you can see here no you can't that my drill bit can only go so far and then my chuck is going to, uh, is hitting the bracket, the gusset. I'm going to have to get another extension uh, so that I can finish driving that in.
Alternatively, I could just use a hand screwdriver. Just to show you that a hand screwdriver is also a valid tool, although you can see how much longer it takes. And there we go. That is the first one. Now all I need to do is the same thing on this side. Before I screw that one in, I'm going to ensure that the distance between these two holes is 16 inches. And there it is, 16 inches, so we're good. So we're gonna land right on the stud. The first screw. And it is a little tricky because I'm working over top of the camera. Okay. There. Works. Okie dokie. So they supplied the shelving system supplies these um, in the old days. The originals were called Easy Anchors. And uh, now there's so many different knockoffs out there. Um, different plastic materials. Um, I would say that if all you're gonna do with a shelf is to put tchotchkes on them, you know, you know small stuff, trinkets and stuff, um, and it's not gonna bear weight, and it's not in a place that could accidentally find itself bearing more weight. Um, I can probably trust something like this. I don't know if I would use these specifically. Um, I'm curious if there were ever any reviews of the different, from the original to the knockoffs, if there's actually an uh, important difference. Um, then you have these kind, I suppose if you're going into concrete, I guess someone could find themselves going into concrete. You can use something like this. These would definitely not be appropriate for drywall. So I would not use these for drywall. These are the screws that they provided. Um, normally I wouldn't trust screws that come with packages because this is an easy cost savings component from a unit price standpoint. Um, the shelf does have three holes, so there's three fastening points. I suspect, um, I don't know, I, I might just try these only because of the chrome head and I don't have a chrome head, chrome colored screws. I've got sort of brass construction screws um, that'll probably be definitely stronger. Um, but since there's only a span of 16 inches, six screws all on studs, even if two or one and a half on each side hold, it's gonna be good enough. More importantly, uh, the screws that are the most important are gonna be the ones at the top, so I'll be more careful. Um, this is the top, and if you flip it over, uh, because of the pulling uh, forces. Whereas the bottom screw, um, as you apply downward force, it'll be more of a compression against the wall. Um, Everything is downward, which should be fine against the, the screw. This is the center of the stud. So now this pencil line should be the center of the stud. 
you can do the knock test. Probably okay. And now I'm going to eyeball. I've got a marker punch. I'm going to do the first screw. And I want to go right about that high, that high. And I'm going to place the level on top just so that I have a ballpark estimate. So I marked the first hole. I'm just gonna put a screw in first. Okay. Now 16 inches. Let's see. 16 inches is right there. And if I use my stud finder, about a quarter inch off. Yeah, so that's about where that's gonna be. This first one. So now, I'm gonna be, let's see, I'm gonna put this, there. I just uh, used my level, and it just happened to be 24 inches. Wow, lucky. And it's actually looking pretty level. That's sheer luck, but that's just to help me hold this in place. So before I mark, my other hole, I'm gonna make sure this is dead level in the back. Get a screw, get my drill. That's a good sign. You know, I don't know if this is level or not. So, you don't really have much choice across the front because the table is locked, right? So if you wanna know what the, what the pitch is, the bubble is over to the left, which means the front is higher. I mean, the front is lower. So unfortunately, there's a pitch from the back down. Now, it might get fixed as I tighten these screws up here. This might pull this up towards the wall a little bit. Um, but it, but a little bit of a pitch, that's just gonna be half, this is gonna be something I'm gonna have to contend with. Now, there's really no purpose in measuring because this is 16 inches and um, there's no real movement left to right. So now it's just a matter of, now these screws are much smaller and I noticed that there was a little bit of slop. So I'm actually gonna put this hole, the screw, towards the top part of the hole.
Perfect. Okay. At the mechanism. All right. That's... Okay, so nice and sturdy. There. That's folded down. So when you want to have some space in the room and you want to have some alone time or nestle in, you can do that. And when you're wanting to use this, you lift that up and it locks. And there it is. Thank you very much for watching an episode of Fix It Tony. And I hope you enjoyed this video on how to install a drop shelf. I think it turned out pretty good. I think it's far enough away so that if the pillow or anything slides, it won't knock what's on here over. Um, it's high enough that when you put a pillow, your head and your shoulder, you reach across, you grab your water or a tissue or your book. So thank you very much. Please subscribe, please like, and uh, I'll try to get a couple more. I do have a couple more projects coming, so hang in there.